It was a beautiful morning in Telwata, a fisherman's village on the southwest coast of Sri Lanka. School children from the neighboring town, Hikadua, were enjoying their weekend here. Their teachers and a few parents played with the children. Miss, our castle looks real, Nihinsa said to her teacher, Miss Sanuthi. Yes, the teacher smiled, dusting off sand from her clothes. Just then, a wave swept up. It broke a little away from the sand castle, but the water ran up to it. The castle slowly dissolved in the water. Nihinsa, the tide is coming in. Remember, there was no water beyond those black rocks when we started making our castle at ten. Miss Sanuthi said, Come, let us walk on the beach. Yes, we'll look for shells. Nihinsa jumped. But the castle... We can make one again in the evening, a little away from the water, said Miss Sanuthi, smiling. Nihinsa skipped a little ahead of her teacher. Flip, flap, flip. They both heard a strange sound. It is coming from behind those tall, crooked rocks. Come, let's look, the teacher said, hurrying. Nihinsa ran to keep pace. Oh, dear, a little whale calf is stuck in the rocks. She must have got trapped last night when the tide went out, Miss Sanuthi said. Nihinsa knew what a whale was. This calf was as big as an elephant. The sun shone on its body. We must save her, the teacher said, as she ran to wet her shawl in the sea. Get help! Nihinsa ran down the beach, waving her red scarf, shouting, A baby whale is trapped in the rocks! Help! The teachers gathered the children and rushed to the spot. The parents, drivers and bus conductors joined in too. A teacher shouted, Use anything that holds water. Pour water over the whale. Wet your scarves, shirts and jackets and place them on the whale. The children fetched mugs, buckets, spare tires, bed sheets, anything they could find in the bus. They ran to the sea, filled them with water. Then they ran back to the calf and threw the water over it. Don't cover the blowhole and the fin. The whale needs to breathe. Miss Sanuthi shouted to the children, who covered the calf with wet clothes. Many children dug a pit around the calf. Two hours went by. The tide filled the pit with water. Everyone was tired, but nobody stopped pouring water. Please live, Nihinsa told the whale. The water reached higher. The whale lifted its fluke and brought it down. Thrash! Hooray! The children scooped more water and poured it over the calf. Soon, the level of water from the sea grew so high that the children moved to the shore. You can! You can! They chanted. The whale calf released a big spring of water from her blowhole. She will live! Miss Sanuthi said. The children cheered. The calf twisted and turned as the tide lifted her above the rocks. Her flippers moved smartly. The tail beat the water. Thrash! The whale calf swam away. Bye, brave calf! Nehinsa shouted.